just really curious your opinion on it. What do you think about cussing? Cussing? Yeah. What so, is your take on it? Yeah, so the reason why it doesn't affect my heart too much is because I know my God doesn't judge like swearing like that. And, and mind you, like, yes, I do. I, I have to change now. Okay, let me rephrase this. I have to change now because God put me in a place for me to be speaking. And I'm realizing that I have to be better and more diligent with my tongue. Because if I'm not, then I'm showing that I'm not disciplined. Therefore, it gives room for the devil to come and just move my tongue right. in his direction. So yes, I have to be obedient on the tongue. Now, when I swear, if I say, I'll just say, if I say, like, to me, I don't see my God looking at me in the same way that other people think my God is looking at me. Because in the scripture says, do not curse your neighbor. Now, cursing isn't F this, F that, because an F word here can mean something in a different language, right? right? It's your intent on how you're using it. I think there's a difference, even with my own child, if I'm looking at my child and he stubs his toe as a four-year-old, he goes, oh, like that. To me, I'm laughing, like, oh, like you shouldn't say that. Versus my son out in the street being like, I'm a you up and I'm going to bust somebody. I'm like, whoa, that's going to come with some repercussions, my man. Like, you can't talk like that. Mm -hmm. So I think cursing is like, where's your intent with it? If, for example, if I'm talking to some new Christians and they don't really get God and, and I'm talking to them about being perfect and now I'm watching them tune out, but then I go, but listen, it's hard. And then they go, wait, what? You're like me. Oh, so you're not holier than thou. Mm -hmm. You're not perfect. Obviously not, because you're swearing. Sometimes I use it as a relatability, like I speak in their language. It's hard to talk to somebody if you can't understand them. And so I wasn't really too quick to fix my tongue because I tell people all the time, they, they look at me as a preacher. I ain't no preacher, dude. I'm a man who fears God and loves to talk about it. And so if that... You're a preacher. You it, have a massive platform. Yeah. It, it, if it Jesus. takes you in the direction of that, then that's great, but... To me, it's my heart was like, I like talking to people that don't know who God is at all and bringing them. I'm trying to be a fisher of men, right? And I might talk like a sailor man. And that's swears. If you listen to any sailor, they go, oh, he cusses like a sailor. This is the men that Jesus chose. You think Peter was walking around with no filthy mouth? He was. It took him a bit to rein it in and be disciplined. I'm 31 years old and I just started. I guarantee you when I'm like 40, I'm probably not going to be talking the same way that I'm talking. Yeah. But it doesn't make me toss and turn at night. There's a lot of things that make me toss and turn at night. Mm -hmm. That's just uh, 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 honestly just not one of them for me right now. Yeah. Can We ask you because we're on the topic of like transformation and stuff. Nobody had worse mouths than Ari and I. I truly believed I was going to be a cussing cr Christian. I had zero intention on ever stopping. There was one moment, and I never had conviction about it, which is fun. Which I never had conviction, and I always said, I don't, when I cuss, I don't feel anything, so it's not bad. I see what God's word says about it, because it does say, don't cuss, don't curse, don't use foul language, but I don't feel anything, so it's fine. Mm -hmm. One time I fasted. I fasted for the first time when we started Girls Gone Bible. And I went one day, 24 hours, no food, no water, no coffee, nothing. It was my first time ever fasting. I was so full of the spirit. I was so sensitive to God. I was just really spiritually sensitive. I get on the phone with a friend. She says an F word. For the first time in my life, my whole body cringed. And it was the first time I ever felt conviction about cussing. And I was like, I don't like that because I don't want to stop cussing. So I'm just going to pretend that that didn't happen. <laughs> All of a sudden, from that moment on, I just had a stirring in my spirit. But I kept going and I kept trying to ignore it, which is what I did with a lot of different types of sin in my life, is that eventually I would feel no conviction. One day, all of a sudden, God would reveal it to me, and I'd get that conviction, and I'd run away from it, and I'd push it, and I'd be like, but I don't want to change. I want to be like everybody. I also we, we truly can't even say it. It's been probably, I don't know how long, that I can't get an F word out of my mouth. It physically can't come out of my yeah. mouth. And you know what? I. She said something that made, it's going to, my wheels are going like crazy Let's now. go. Yeah. What? When you said it made me cringe, I never really pictured making anybody cringe from my mouth. And if I'm talking about God and I make them cringe, yeah, that's a problem. I think of the scripture. Sorry, Ari, I just I think of the scripture that She's says. So annoying, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, just I just want to tell you one scripture. It's I think it's in James. It's can fresh water and salt water both flow out of the same spring? How can you love God and curse anybody with the same mouth? I saw that as mm. cursing a man, though. But it's, like even my own enemies, they don't even know. But I plant them flowers in their fields. Can I tell you one story? So I was reading. So you know the moment where Peter denies Jesus three times, right? Before and I the can pull. Comes, yeah. And I can pull it up because I'm paraphrasing 
paraphrasing, but it says something. So th three times people come up to him, do you know Jesus? You were just with him. I saw you with him. You're, you're a Jew, like you have to be with him. And he says three times, no, I don't know him. No, I don't know him. The third time he, it says that Peter curses and says, I do not know this man. So in the moment where he was trying to separate himself from Jesus and no longer identify as a follower of Jesus, he cursed. Yeah. He used some mm. sort of foul language. Mm. And that's what really got me in saying, the, when I do use foul language, as annoying as it is, when I do, I'm separating myself yeah. from the character of Jesus. I make a vow that today's the last day, I swear. <gasps> yeah, you I guys challenge I me. I have chill bumps. I'm probably going to mess up a lot. It's okay. But <laughs> <laughs> I just I just love that, that conversation. Yeah. I, it's, it's rare where you see somebody challenge somebody on something. Yeah. They listen and then they actually say, Okay, I, I hear what you're saying. Did you see the video I put in the chat yesterday? Mm -mm. It was a video it was a video about Usher, right? But it was just the guy used Usher as a thumbnail to kind of bring people in, but the whole video was about witnessing. And then he kind of sprinkled back to Usher, but it was about Usher and his faith. Mm -hmm. But it was like he, when he was witnessing to this guy, you have to look at it later on, but when he was witnessing to the guy, he did the same thing those young ladies just did. It's mm -hmm. amazing. Now, do you think he was more receptive because they're young ladies with, with blonde hair? <laughs> no. I think, honestly, what, what, they, what they heard him say was enough to make any Christian cringe. Like they you, did a great you don't job. Want to separate yourself from it, Jesus. Oh, like, I've, I've never heard somebody lay out an argument so well in love. Like that's yeah. what you're talking about, mm -hmm. saying in, things in love. Yeah, that's what that sounded like. They, I cut out a lot of it. They were like, "We respect you. We think you're like." They were speaking yeah. into him. They did three right. things. They affirmed him. They gave their testimony, and they mm. gave the word of God. Wow. Yeah. Like they affirmed yeah. him, meaning like you could do better. You, this is better for you. God got so much better for you. Better for your vocabulary, blah blah blah. She gave her testimony. She gave the word of God. And he was like, you know, y'all convinced me. I may mess up, but I'm going to try my best to do better. And that's all you can ask for people, man. And I'll pray for him, honestly. Yeah. That he he, he gave an update and said he's still working on it. It's still He's still committed to it. Um, so, yeah, keep praying for him. Because, I mean, he is, he is in a really... Uh, powerful position coming from that Logan Paul world. Yeah, those those same people are now aware of who he is, and they tune in. Yeah, to be able to speak life. Same thing for the Gideon who's yeah. been on Logan yeah. Paul's podcast, and mm -hmm. like, that's yeah. a whole ecosystem yeah. that people are. God is starting to pick them off. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm well, gonna get he, you. I'm gonna get you. He like, interviewed um, Tate recently. Yeah, and and, Tate. and he interviewed Paul again. Logan yeah. Paul rec recently. Oh, wow, I didn't see that. Yeah. Yeah. Tate called somebody. Yeah. I think he called out Ice Spice for uh, throwing up the. The hand signals oh, yeah, Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. had an upside down cross on yeah. while she was standing next to Taylor. Mm. So I feel like God is doing something in the YouTube community to say, hey, this is top. I mean, just just the popularity of our videos, Ruslan's videos, Nick Jones, all these people. Yeah. People are searching yeah. for God. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. clear something's going on yeah. in the YouTube community specifically. So we got to keep praying for people like George, the the, the um, Girls Gone Bible, all that. Because something's That's dope happening. Name. That's a dope yeah, name, Girls Gone dope. Bible. But um, what what do you think about what they said? Do you agree with their take on cursing, um, or are you more on what how George was looking at it? I, I mean, to me personally, I feel like this. I think if you're if you are still walking your faith out and you're new, and you're still like God isn't really convict you, and like let's say these young ladies was his conviction of like the Holy Spirit probably yeah. was like maybe talking to him about it, but he, he was ignoring it. And they, yeah. and God was like, okay, I'm going to send these young ladies to talk yeah, to you about yeah, it. Yeah. Then that's something different. But if you are, to me, I've had a problem with, if you've been doing this for a long period of time, and what I mean doing is been living your walk, or if you, or you're trying to um, put your preacher or your, your podcast or whatever, like this is part of who you are. Mm -hmm. Then to me, I'm like, you know, that's not it. Because my thing is this, and I'll say this. I've seen when people say like, yo, this is just part of my, this is who I'm called to reach, blah, blah, blah. And then when they put you on secular platforms, the people in the comments be like, this ain't it. This ain't it. I want to ask a question. So I remember a couple weeks ago, we were talking about Country Wayne and he stopped cussing so he can reach more people. Mm -hmm. So is this is this, would this be similar to that or would it be like, is it like, is he, is he really... Is it a real conviction or is it just like he knows he's it's offending people so he's just going to stop? I don't know. I, I don't think so. I think the we're, we need to do that topic, the Country Wayne one, because I, yeah. I, that's a whole different thing. Yeah. Yeah. Stopping <laughs> cursing f for marketing reasons is different than 
I realize that my mouth hurt can people. hurt people. That's a diff- that's a yeah, different yeah, motivation. Different yeah. um, if you're doing it just because you're trying to fit the Christian market, mm-hmm. that's not a good reason to stop cussing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If you realize that the Bible, it, it's not just cursing as in I put a curse on your family. Right. It's also foul language, things that are just yeah, uh, obscene know. of the time. Of course, different languages. Cursing in, in, in Patois, back where my parents are from, is different than cursing here. Than, but it's just wisdom. It's yeah. You know what it is. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Harsh speech, harsh language. Exactly. It's, it's just be wise about that. It's not to say that it's like a sudden death, but it's like be wise. Mm-hmm. It should be something that's different about you. And that's <laughs> yeah. one of the easiest ways to stand out as being different. Yeah. And I, mm-hmm. think, I think people just don't. I think when you when you think people would like accept you because you that way. I mean, I think people just want you to be authentic to you. Like they just want right. you to be. If you're saying you're a man of God or a woman of God and you're a yeah. Christian, they they're expecting that from you. So when they hear you, because I've seen this um, at at my job and stuff, and I've hear people <laughs> talk like that, and people will be like, "Well, I thought you was this. I thought <laughs> you was that." You know what I'm saying? Right. They automatically don't yeah. go to like, "Oh, you're relating to me." They go. Yo, I thought you was a Christian. Why are you doing this? Uh, why are you doing that? Yeah. Because you know what? Honestly, his example of, oh, I'm I'm trying to witness to somebody. Their eyes are glazing over, and I say, yeah, you know, but it's effing hard. And then they get excited about that. I think that excitement is, oh, I don't have to do anything different. Yeah. Yeah. It's not. Oh, I want to. I could. Yeah. It's. I I think you're you're tapping into the wrong emotion. Yeah. You could have said, man, it's really hard. That's mm. the authentic. That's yeah. that's authentic. Yeah. yeah, it's an issue too. Cause you ever notice people will say, "I'm you doing the godly thing," but then they turn around and say, "I'm just gonna keep it real with y'all," as if doing the godly thing is not the real thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. like yeah. me keeping it real is yeah. being able to relate to your carnal side, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. and which which yeah. basically is communicating the message that you don't really have to do it. This is all kind of fake. Mm-hmm. It's all kind of yeah. fake. <laughs> yeah, we don't really believe it. Yeah. And, and that's to me that's dangerous. <laughs> yeah, that's dangerous. And and I think yeah. the the scary thing also too is just like. Like saying people like, man, you know, it don't take all that. Yeah. And it takes all that. It, take, it <laughs> took somebody dying for you. Yeah. It took mm-hmm. everything. Yeah. But it doesn't mean that you got to figure it out. Yeah. That, and that's, I think, we got, we're way over now. The, the point is, is that it's not about you not cursing anymore. Yeah. It's about you surrendering to God to say whatever you need me to yeah. do. And then letting him take that. Like yeah. the parts I cut out. I would go back and watch this full interview because their testimony was really good because they said they used to curse on their yeah. pocket. Mm-hmm. And they said that part of it is that God just removes the desire from yeah. you. Yeah. Once you give in to him, it's not about you doing things better. It's about you just surrendering and God will God will pull it out of you. You'll yeah. look up and you'll be like, oh, I ain't cursing in a while. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's that's the true saying. Yeah. That's, that's true deliverance is when yeah. you don't even notice God is pulling stuff out of you. So yeah. I don't want you to just act like you don't curse. That's true. It's like That's true. it's just it's a surrender. Yeah. It's, a, it's a renewing of your mind. Yeah. Somebody asked a question, um, and they gave us some Lucini. Um, they said, "What do you guys think about some Christian hip hop artists cursing in music, even saying the H word and the D word?" How many H words are there? <laughs> I <bunch> know. <laughs> um, uh, I, of course, we've had people here. We've discussed it with many people. We've told them to the face. It's just weird. Um, but again, it's like, it depends on like Jeremiah said, where are you at? You know, yeah. I can't force you to stop cursing. Yeah. You have to, you have to get that message yeah. yourself. So I could, mm-hmm. I could, I could talk you through it, but I, I can't just, I guess is the question they're asking. Should we even be talking oh, about yeah, these people? Yeah. Should, should we, we be, give them a platform? Or I don't want to prolong this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to prolong this conversation, but I felt that way when I first started watching Tyler Perry, he created a character named Medea. Mm-hmm. They continued to cuss, talk about violence, gun violence, and mm-hmm. stuff like that. And he used that to catapult. Because that's where most Because that's where he are. found Christians were. Right. Yeah. And, and it was funny. It was funny wow. stuff. I never did it myself, oh. but it was funny. And I see why he was able to bring in such a big, big following. Well, what if, what if, what if, like you said earlier, well, Kanye is like, I, 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 I go into these platforms and the church platform and I, Pull a curtain back, and it's just and they trying to impress me with yeah. they cussing and they doing yeah, and I'm like, thing. oh, this is let me just do what they I really do. hope it wasn't like that. I'm I'm just I a, guarantee you. I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say I it wasn't. Wrong T. I know <laughs> I know. I guarantee we, there were Christians. I know that we tried had to that like, problem. Hey, I'm cool, man. I'm yep. a cool one. I, I know we had those. that. Problem. I want to know the judge. We had that problem at radio. We had that problem in secular radio, but I know. I, I'm just gonna say no. That did not happen. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can tell you who it was. <laughs> <laughs> I know for a fact that happened. Um, but anyway. I will say this real quick: um, if you're a person out there and you are trying to stop, that, and the Holy Spirit is convicting you to stop, 
please listen to the Holy Spirit. Don't listen to no yeah. podcast, preacher, whoever. Listen to the Holy Spirit. If the Holy Spirit is convicting you on it. And, but also, if God brings somebody your way, kind of like this situation, and they talking and they giving their testimony and you, and it's making you feel conviction, then listen to God. Yeah. And, but the truth is, it does make people cringe. It makes me cringe. Yeah. So if you're worried, if you're wondering, is that yeah. true? Yes. It makes you cringe. And and the oh, fact definitely. that it came after fasting yeah. was a really good story to tell because it means that sure. when you're most in tune with God, the conviction was able to pierce through. Yeah. So if you're not sure, I yeah. had to do this with music. I didn't know if music was affecting me negatively when I was younger. So I went on a year fast for music. No music, not even worship, nothing. I didn't want any kind of influence coming in yeah. that way. Mm -hmm. A year, and then now I, I don't even listen to music anymore. Yeah. It, yeah. It, it, it like broke a bond I had with it. So mm. if it's really God given that you should be able to cuss, try to not do it yeah. for a while. Just really hone in on God yeah. and say, Give and if you come back yeah. and you're like, I'm cussing. Okay. <laughs> Y'all convinced me, man. I'm going to stop, man. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> man, that conviction, bro. Anyway, let's get back into it. You in the field with the track stars, Ryan Wright, Sean Tanner, DJ Jeremiah. Let's go. Hey, what's going on? I hope you liked that video. Make sure you like and subscribe. And make sure you support us on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash track stars universe. In the meantime, continue to watch our channel by clicking on this next video right now, right now.